Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'm still on the issue of Cain and Abel, and it's, I, I'm, I, I get very, very, I get very surprised. And I, I was like, wow, here a fountain of principles laced, uh, that laces through um, the Cain and Abel uh, issue. You know, Cain was the one who um, killed his brother Abel because of a sacrifice and because of God's response to Abel's sacrifice. That is, he had respect and Cain, no respect. Now, the Bible says God, and I already talked about it, the first of all, God comes to town and God says to Cain, why is your countenance? And then he says, oh, I'm okay. He said, listen, if you do well, your, your, your sacrifice will be respected. So instead of blaming your brother, blame you. Take responsibility for your mistakes. Take responsibilities for the things you didn't do right and rather deal with God on it. Perhaps there'll be mercy. And I'm sure there'll be grace. Now, the interesting thing is that after Cain had killed his brother, and I said, you're not just killing your people with, by stabbing them with a knife or shooting them with a gun or this thing, but your tongue becomes a sword of destruction. Your tongue becomes a knife that sticks into their, their backside, uh, that sticks into their heart, just like the tongue of Judas and the keys of Judas was the death knell for Jesus. That is what he was saying. He is the man. He is the man. Articulating of the tongue, he is the man. The man that I kiss, he is the man. Now, 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 now here's the thing. When then God comes to town, and then God says to uh, Cain, where is Abel, your brother? Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued by it. Didn't God know that Abel was dead? Didn't God know that, that Cain, that, that Cain was, I mean, uh, 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 Cain had killed Abel. God knew all that. But God still said, God still said, and asked the question, why would God ask the obvious? Where is Abel? And then Cain then begins to say, oh, um, am I my brother's keeper? I don't know. I don't know about Abel. Am I my brother's keeper? I, I mean, excuse me. You just killed the man. When God begins to ask the obvious, where is Abel? It means, I know what you have done. And I'm holding you accountable. You are responsible for the whereabouts of your brother. And I just want to ask you a question to somebody. Where have you put the person that you have assassinated with your tongue? Where have you put that person? Where have you put the person that you, you spoke so derogatively about? Where have you put the person? You have placed the person. That per You killed that person. You murdered that person. You are a murderer. You are a killer, not a Chinese killer. You are a killer. Because the Chinese killer is fiction that we, we, we see in the Chinese film. But you are murdering your brother. You are murdering your sister because of what you did with your tongue. And then God comes asking the question and then Cain boldly tells God, am I my brother's keeper? Sure. You have, you have kept him in the grave. You put him in the grave. You know it. And then here is what God said. Oh, the blood of your brother is speaking. The blood of your brother is crying out. So even though you thought you have done away with that person, there's blood on your hands. There's a trail of blood leading to your doorstep. There are, there are traces of blood. There's evidence of murder. There's a prima facie case against you. You are responsible for where that person is. Because of the way you treated the person. Because of the things you said about the person which were untrue. You. So, you, so you're walking around. You're a murderer. You're walking around because of your gossip. Because of the things that you said out of your jealousy. And you say you don't know where the person is right now. You know. And if the person becomes an object of public synosia. Or that person becomes an ob object of public opprobrium or ridicule. You are responsible. You did it. 
And so you can you can make all the excuses you can give, but there's a bloody trail to your doorstep. And that's what God said to you. Your bl brother's blood is criminal. Are there people whose blood we have on our hands? And like Pilate, we would wash, but it will never go away until we come to the place of repentance and probable restitution. You are responsible. The things you say. The trail, the bloody trail leads to your door. Stop giving excuses. Take responsibility for the demise of your brother, for the destruction of your sister. Take responsibility. That's what it means. And repent and ask for forgiveness. And go back to the person and restitute. Sometimes it is needed. Anyway, bloody trails of excuses. They lead to your door. The choice to do something about it is yours.